Forests are complicated ecosystems and they don't fit well into simplified systems of management, especially when it comes to hydrology or the way that water flows through these ecosystems. For example, and this is complicated, but bear with me. Different soil types have different carrying capacities of water based on the levels and types of organic and mineral content that they contain. And when they become saturated, that water creates space between those soil particles, thus reducing the friction between them, meaning they don't stick together as well, which leads to increased erosion, sedimentation streams, and more frequent and larger landslides. However, plant and tree diversity is able to reduce this saturation and increase carrying capacity of the soils by slowing the flow of water into the soils through infiltration, uptake by the roots to photosynthesize and store water within themselves, as well as the roots acting kind of like rebar in the soil, holding soil particles together when saturated to reduce landslides and flooding. But when forests are clear-cut logged or even logged with progressive management styles like shelterwood or seed tree management, the lack of plants available for uptake as well as the lack of roots in the soil leads to an increase of soil saturation and thus more frequent and severe landslides. And the lack of soil holding capacity that would normally store excess water leads to more frequent and larger flood events. Nothing illustrates this complexity better than a new study from UBC published in the Journal of Hydrology, which took a look at two neighboring watersheds that were clear-cut logged and found that the north-facing watershed had more than 50% more frequent flooding events that were much larger than in the south-facing one as a result of less sunlight that evaporated less water and kept the soils more saturated more often. The watersheds of BC are incredibly complex with varying north and south-facing slopes, and for the past 40 years, oversimplified clear-cut management practices have been shown to dramatically increase the size and frequency of landslides during heavy rain events by as much as double. And this study reaffirms these impacts by showing an 18-fold increase in severe flood events and watersheds in BC that have been industrially logged. Now, despite the overwhelming amount of peer-reviewed science conducted over the past three decades detailing the negative impacts of clear-cut logging in literally all forest types, logging companies continue to ignore the inherent complexities of these ecosystems and landscapes in order to maximize their profits to the detriment of everyone else from our communities that live amongst these forests and rivers to the fish and biodiversity that supports both them and us. Clear-cut, shelterwood, seed tree, or any other rebranded form of industrial logging are not viable management practices, and it's time we move to a closed canopy selective harvest system that maintains this ecological and hydrological complexity for all those who depend on these forest ecosystems.